What is up guys, NPS Reefer here, back at it with another video. Today's video, we're going to be doing a coral unboxing. I'm um, not entirely sure what's in there, but I kind of have a general idea of what I got sent. Um, it was sent out from my buddy Chris Meckley, down at ACI Aquaculture, so we just got some NPS corals for the NPS tank. But like I said, I'm not 100% sure what all I got, so we're going to open it and see what we have. Alright guys, so we got the package here, and we're going to go ahead and start unboxing what we have here. Looks like we got some nice cocoa worms. I'm really excited for those. I've been wanting those for a while. Those in there. Can't wait to see those open up. What else we got? Oh my! No way! Jeez! This is one of the biggest carnations ever. Look at that dendromaphia. My goodness! I don't even know where I'm going to hold on the spot, but man, it is a massive carnation coral. There's a lot of big bags in here as well. Another carnation. Same species, just a different shape. Really nice. Jeez, whoa. Man, we are like restocking the infamous reef here. Oh, that's a beauty. Nice Gorgonian in here. Can't really see. We're going to have to get some pictures on Instagram later. It's a really beautiful specimen. Really, I hope I have enough glue for all those, to be honest with you. What else we got? Nice sized bicolor sea fan. This is Acanthagorgia. Can't really tell here, but it's like purple with like yellow tips. So this is an Acanthagorgia. Yeah, in here for right now. Oh my. Oh, no way. That is insane. We got a massive wire coral, guys. Look at that thing. That thing's got to be like 20 inches long. It like wraps around the bag like two times. That is insane. This is insane, guys. We're gonna go ahead and get this stuff in the tank. It'll probably be a long time. We gotta acclimate and obviously place all these corals in the aquarium. Um, this would be a super long video if I videoed me placing all of them. So we're probably just gonna show you it at the end and kind of explain where I put things and why I did that. So we're gonna go ahead Get everything in the tank and we'll video later and show you what i did with the corals okay so we are back and you guys are about to witness some insane corals so i'm gonna go ahead and reveal here what we have going on i mean this is just crazy we've got a lot of things that are happening and a lot of new corals i'm gonna show you what's happening here i mean that the leptogorgias i collected these while i was down in florida New carnation coral. This is one of the two that I got today. Focus up. Very nice specimen. Black pastry. We got that last week. Carnation coral. Uh, I did not get that one today. I've had that one for three weeks now. Um, and then we got the Acanthagorgia bicolor. Just in. Obviously, it'll take a little bit for it to open. Uh, a lot of these are already opening though. But this one right here. Look, look at that. That is so gorgeous. Cocoa worms. Those just came in today and looked very nice and healthy. Super excited for those. I've wanted those for such a long time and they've just been super expensive. So honestly, like I could not afford them. Um, we got the Manila SP here. And then we got this Gorgonian I've had for almost two years now. Um, this specific Gorgonian has grown like crazy. And obviously I got a lot of pieces of it. And they all used to be, I think one Gorgonian. So it's just been growing like crazy. Um, then we got the massive wire coral. That is insane. Nice polyp extension. Like I said, these corals have not been in the tank very long. Uh, Christmas tree coral. We got two of those in the, this tank right now. Um, this is another dendronephia. Just starting to open up for the evening. They like to close up during the day. Um, I usually have my light cycle here on for about two hours. Uh, simply because if you leave this light on for too long, you will definitely notice algae growth on some of the corals. 
Um, and that's simply because these are non-photosynthetic corals and usually most of them come from deeper waters where they don't see hardly any light. Um, we got the Manila SP here, another gor orange gorgonian in the back. That's actually healing up really well. Um, I've had that for about a month now. Um, came in really good. Then we had a slight tank crash and it is coming back really well. I'm shocked at how good it's coming back. Um, we got the Disticopora back there, the orange one, and then there's some pink Stylaster towards the bottom. And then we got a blue Disticopora right here. These are going really well, and I actually have noticed a decent amount of growth on this back one, which is insane. Um, we got this new Dendron empty I just in today. I'm going to have to move that rock or figure out a different area for this because it is a massive carnation and it's not even close to half expanded. When that thing's fully expanded, it's going to be out here. Uh, so we may have to find a new spot with a big updraft current probably in the back here. So I'm gonna stick out and expand fully with the updraft current coming underneath, lifting up here. Um, as you can tell, we got the chili coral in the back and you can see that updraft current definitely lifting up here and kind of coming around. Uh, Cause I got the flow just coming right through this rock and coming around like this. So works out really well. We got a nice yellow sun coral here. Um, a nice uh, Nuptigorgia. Uh, this is a Didiagorgia, and it must have just fell on over. And then we got another Christmas tree coral here doing really well. And of course, we got our massive Leptogorgia. Up top here, we got some frags that I'm, a couple of them healing. The others are just up there growing out. And we got a starfish up there as well. Um, but like I said, this tank is really coming together. I'm really excited to see where this tank is going to go in the next few months. So. There's a little bit of room left. I mean, I could find some things to put in here. Uh, but yeah, definitely running out of room here. I mean, there's a couple things I could probably put on the foreground here. Uh, but other than that, this tank is filling up and looking really nice. I got this little spiny lobster in the back here. He's super small. Um, his whiskers are massive, though. He is really cool. He has not touched anything yet other than clams on the half shell. So it's a real blessing. Um... Honestly, the next thing for this tank will probably be a couple fish. As you can tell, there's like nothing in here other than two squirrel fish and a diamond goby. Uh, so I'd definitely like to add some fish to kind of fill in the tank a little bit to add a little movement to it other than just the corals. So, With that said, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, in the upcoming videos, we're planning on having just a lot of feeding videos um, and species spotlight videos uh, describing certain species. Um, if you haven't already, be sure to check out the latest uh, Reef Hobbyist magazine. I did uh, put an article in that magazine, and it's try to be really informative with you guys and share um, how I keep certain corals and stuff. Uh, so really excited, like I said, to see where this tank goes in the next couple of months. I mean, I can see a lot of growth happening on certain corals, so really excited. I mean, this is kind of like a pioneer tank for the NPS or the dark side of the hobby. Uh, so really excited to see where this tank goes. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to be the fish and feed them corals. We'll see you next time.